So today, uh, you know what, it's lockdown three and things have been difficult. Um, I'm not going to dress it up, I know a lot of people like to always be super positive, things have been tough. So um, we, we took on Evelina in November. So this is Dr. Evelina. October. This is Dr. Evelina, she's a chiropractor, so she does chiropractor -y stuff um, as kind of her own entity and she does some graphics work for us. Um, so Evelina's had less hours than we maybe hoped, Reese has had a lot less hours than, than we would normally hope and things are, things are difficult. So today we've got a little bit on, we've got Rob Burke from Football coming down to pick up a wholesale order, Reese is working through mail orders today and we figured, you know what, while things are quiet it would be a good time to get some content out there. Um, so we're gonna look at some stuff you can do at home. Lots of people have done band workouts, like home workouts. We're gonna do more what you can do with a rack, is that? Yeah. Rather than like, this is a booty workout you can do in your front room, that's not very strong. Uh, Evelina is a chiropractor, and um, you are able to come and see her if you've got issues around treatment and stuff, and she'll probably say later what she can and can't do, and what she is and isn't doing at the moment with the lockdown. But she can hopefully give us some insights into things you can do for mobility, and pain, and releases, and shit like that. Um, I've got a couple of product videos to do, so we get last to do the product video, so it makes sense to tie all that in. And I think maybe later we're going to do some yoga. I was to Laz about our complex um, logistical system and how it works. So orders come in here, we print a label here, and then Reese has the prettiest handwriting. Whoever does the label printing writes on the back of it what goes in, and then and then you put those things in a bag. Who fucks it up the most? Probably me, but I can't tell myself off. Um, so effectively, if I fuck up, I'm just losing me money, and that's my problem. Um, <laughs> and and then after that, I, I'd love to point a finger at no one really, just me. Um, the prettiest you ever passed. Oh. They look shit when it's... No, listen, listen, all right? Shh. There you go, that's my whole argument. So there's a bit of a curious thing about supplements. Um, everything within industry, particularly stuff that goes abroad, works under commodity codes. And all of this stuff, um, as far as the council and the tax men are concerned, is classed as food supplements. So as far as couriers are concerned, they count as food. And food is not insured in transit because I guess if you were sending cakes, you, it would be unreasonable to expect them to be insured. Um, so nothing that we send is actually insured for damage in transit, just for um, loss. So if it gets lost, then that's, that's covered. But if it gets damaged, it's not insured, which means it comes out of our bottom line. So that's why we pack stuff so ridiculously. Is this a lesson you've learned the hard way? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, we've got a very good relationship with APC. You do our, our shipping and they're pretty understanding. But we used to be with DPD before, and they were just like, yeah, no, nah, not my problems. Oh. Uh, there was a parcel that had literally, it had clearly been driven over by a van or a forklift truck. Um, and they were like, and? Oh. Like, uh, so heavy. Get it! Go get it! <laughs> that was extremely anticlimactical. One thing that is worth mentioning, if we're going to actually try and promote our business, rather than just take the piss out of each other, um, <laughs> We've got one of the latest dispatch times in the business, and that's because APC are just there. So anything that gets ordered up to five o'clock, or generally like quarter to five, uh, we get a collection at like half four, but we can walk stuff over there right the way up till six o'clock if we need to. We can't guarantee that it'll get packed, but as a general rule, if it's ordered before five o'clock, 99% of the time it's gonna go out same day to be with you tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean the next working day. So if you order on a Friday. If you're in the UK. If you're in the UK. If you order on a Friday, that doesn't mean you'll get it on a Saturday. You just gotta get it. Yeah, and if you order at nine o'clock on a Friday, you won't get it until the Tuesday, and that seems to really confuse people. Brexit, Brexit, Brexit. How is Brexit, it? Brexit um, was something that I was very worried about. Um, I talked at Reese about it endlessly. <gasps> Brexit, pre-Christmas, I was very, very, very stressed about it because potentially, you know, all of our, the majority of our ingredients are imported, a lot of them from the EU, and then we've got a large customer base in the EU you now. Um, and then we got a deal, apparently, um, around Christmas, um, and it appears that no one actually read the deal. It was almost just, it got to the point where Boris was like, well, we just need something to have a win. Oh, yeah. Um, 
so we thought, well, that was great. That, that was going to solve all our problems. And then it appears that the deal is not quite as simple uh, as initially thought. So the first few parcels that we shipped got stung with customs charges and things. And uh, we were very worried that it was going to be a massive problem. However, uh, business to business is now working pretty faultlessly. If you want Strom stuff in the EU at the moment, you're probably best ordering through Strom Sports Ireland, Performance Store in Austria, or Total Body Shop in Holland, because those guys are situated in the EU. The irony being that Brexit, that was supposed to bring money and jobs back into Britain, has made put me in a situation where I recommend that you don't order through Strom and give Reese and Evelina things to pack, but you in fact order through businesses that are in the EU. Feels like that's kind of not what the point of it was. I mean. Uh, uh, I suppose that's the take home message is that we're happy to send stuff anywhere in the world it's at your own risk and the important thing to understand because some customers have been very annoyed I've seen it before with people in the UK getting annoyed when getting stuff from America the important thing is to understand that it's not us and it's not the UK charging you it's your country charging you that, that's the key it's not us charging you it's the country that you receive the parcel in choosing to charge you customer duty so that money goes to your country not to us not to Boris um, so it's annoying, but that's 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 the situation. Sounds like fun. Well, Does that country is betraying you? Yeah. I'd move. From supplement needs today. Supplement needs are one of those brands that we will always stock, despite the fact that we're not so much a retailer anymore, because they just make really good shit. When I formulate, I try and make products that are. Um, a really good balance between kind of effectiveness, value for money, um, do the job really well. And supplement needs is a little bit like what's the most comprehensive way we can do this for? So they do um, the liver stack, CV stack, and Astrag Flow, uh, and that's their three on cycle support products. It's about 120 quid a month um, as opposed to Support Max, which is 40 quid, which obviously isn't anywhere near as comprehensive, but it's still very good. Um, so if you're kind of like a money is no object person, their advanced health sack is a really, really good option. Um, and it complements our products really well because they, they offer it in different price points but the same kind of field, you know? Um, I wonder what we got today because um, last time he opened a parcel from these guys, uh, we got this. Say that again, please. This is Robbie from Full Ball Sports in, is it Sale? Manchester. Well, Stockport, we've got a gym in, uh, we're inside a gym in Stockport. Um, so uh, they've been retailing for us for about 18 months now. Yep. Um, used to train with Robbie years ago at a local little gym. Um, and it, it's progressed really well for them, actually. The last two or three months, despite everything, they've seen decent growth, um, which is only only good when you consider that they're based in the gym. So when the gym's open, they're going to be really, really busy. Um, and they, they primarily kind of stock same kind of ethos as us, so us, Conte Sports, Supplement Needs, um, what other brands are you carrying? We've got HR Labs, um, we've got the Perform range, yeah. we have one American brand which is Redcon, purely because of... Um, people ask for it, don't they? People ask for it a lot, yeah, so we, we try and focus purely on the independent British brands, because um, I think they're the best, simple as. Yeah, well, you, I suppose you get to have a little bit of feedback directly with, you get to speak to real people and... Yeah every day in the shop you know you we've know. got stores as far away as australia and the thing that we get consistent with strong products from retailers all over the world is that they've just got a really good rebuy rate so when people buy it once they tend to keep buying it um and as a retailer the last thing you want to do is have people who would like well what what can i try this month you want people who just have that thing that selection of stuff that they use every month and they know it works and they're happy with it yeah that's it we don't have we don't have customers who just buy one strong product they buy three or four at a time and they buy it almost as a prescription service. Yeah. Um, that's that's the power of the brand and the products. Simple as that. Um, so I guess because lockdown you haven't got to be at work at set times, Robbie tends to come down and collect his orders at the moment, which is good to touch base. Yeah. Um, it's good to come down to Strom. So probably one to watch moving forward because you haven't actually been able to trade in the gym no, at all really, have you? We've done, of one, we've done two months out of four, so we opened we opened in October in the gym, uh, shut in November, opened December shut January, shut February, um, but we're doing a lot of focus with the online and, and our people, so that's really helping us out. So, yeah. Oh, uh, um, 
so the thing we were going to do, I was going to say this year, but last year it all kind of merges into one. Um, the thing we were going to do last year, I like how quiet they are. Yeah, no, me too. The thing we were going to do last year um, was America. That was one of the big focuses. So okay. a big push on Europe with FIBO and then America. I'm not going to push on Europe at the moment um, until we know exactly what's happening with Brexit and things. Although we have a system moving forward, it's not as slick as I would like it. Okay. Um, but all our shipments and parcel things that go to America seem to be actually getting through really well, really easily. Um, but the shipping costs are quite high for an individual. So the logical kind of solution to that situation is to get a good distributor a mm -hmm. aligned with us in America. So that's something I want to pursue this year. If you're an American distributor and you're watching this, get in touch. Um, I'm sure no American distributors watch my shit. Um, Australian. Uh, Australian New Zealand business is going really well actually. So we work with what was a, a relatively small startup business in Australia called the Cave Nutrition Store. Um, they started carrying our stuff about a year ago. It's been kind of a slow burner. But then we've sent them three, three shipments in the last month. And they've now got a sister shop in New Zealand. Um, so our products are available in Australia and New Zealand. So I'm hoping to get out there at some point this year. Um, it's an interesting scene in America, there are, in Australia, sorry. Uh, America is very saturated and there are lots and lots of brands vying for the same space. In Australia, um, obviously Australia is not as saturated with human beings. Australia is, um, there are a lot fewer brands, there are very few retailers, there's only a couple of companies that are mail order distributing. Um, but the community seems very engaged, they're much more focused on health. There doesn't seem to be a huge out and out bodybuilding scene. I could be completely wrong about that and probably offending someone. Um, but I'm hoping to get out there and, and kind of see exactly what the, what the situation is for myself um, and maybe have a bit of a working holiday, that'd be nice. New Zealand, Lord of the Rings shit, that kind of stuff. And then more flavours in all of the products is another thing we want to do this year. You're not helping, you're strong. Which is why he's got low back pain. Would you like to inform me what is happening? Well, Rose does yoga on a Sunday with mummy, don't you? Yeah, and you watch. And I watch because I'm not very flexible. Yeah, just for here. And Rose said the other day, Daddy and Reese should do this at work because it'll help with their exercise, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you going to do, Rose, with Reese? Help him to do this. Help him to do... Yeah, I can flat it out really good. You can flat it out really good? You want me to hold your cookie? Well, I was going to suggest that we go in the office to do this because it's nice and warm in there. You want to do it in here? Okay. Even though it's really cold and the only person that's warm is Reese. I'm good with that. Yeah, I can do that one. That's not a thing! Put that arm around there and Bend. reach around and yeah. grab myself. Yeah, and you're bendy. I'm just not very good, Rose. That's why you're supposed to reassure me and tell me I am. <laughs> that means he is very good. <laughs> what did she say? You're not good. <laughs> Thing is, man, she's honest. Are you sure I'm not good? Um, well, so trying to do anything with Rose post nursery is tricky because she's kind of like her attention levels are not there um, and I made the mistake of giving her a cookie pre-yoga quite distracted you know like we've always been super positive and happy and strong videos um, but at the same time I get a lot of feedback on Instagram about oh you guys are super real you know the reality of it is at the moment that things are challenging as a business but they're a lot less challenging than if you own a gym or a restaurant so things could be a shite site worse and all we've got to do is see this through until the gyms open up again and um, we'll be we'll be cool um, but it would be perhaps slightly misleading to sit there and go yeah everything's amazing and sunshines are coming out of our hoo-hahs and whatever um, so the tone's a little bit different I suppose to most of the normal strong content we do yeah. um, and I don't know if that will work or if um, I'll look like a negatron I don't know, I don't know. do you know?